Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about billet aluminum running boards. But first, please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit the bell for notifications, and if you can, in the description below I have a small link uh, to a PayPal donation uh, website. Uh, that donation for the price of a cup of coffee, a couple bucks, every now and then helps us keep this content coming week after week, helpful how-tos. Uh, to help you keep your Volkswagen alive. Really appreciate that. Whatever you can afford is fine with us. We thank you. Uh, so back to the billet aluminum running boards. I'm going to get behind the camera and show you this board in detail. I think it's a phenomenal board and I can uh, show you the fit and finish and where you can purchase. All right, let's get to it. So here you are, billet aluminum running boards. Um, I found these on CIP1.com. You can find them on Amazon as well. And they are all complete when they come. You know, I know there's some running boards out there where you have to fasten the chrome here, or you have to apply the mat on top. And the beautiful thing about this board is that all of this is already together. This is there's no mat here. This is hardened aluminum. I thought it was steel at one point. You know, because when you feel it, it feels like steel, but it's heavy duty. Because I didn't think, you know, when you think aluminum, you think aluminum foil. You think you know, cheap tinny stuff, and this stuff is not that at all. Um, you know, the brace is here for where you, you know, you mount the, f the running board to the fastening panel. Really strong stuff. I mean, that's, that is very thick there. Um, and the fitment and finish when it's mounted up on the car is, is phenomenal. Um, now, I, I don't normally get these because, you know, it is a custom look, but this is kind of custom, but it still looks vintage. Um, I mean, it's got the wide molding here, which is even wider than they would have had stock. Um, you know, this is more of the polished aluminum look, but it is like a stainless as well. I thought maybe it was metal, this board, because it is very heavy duty, but I put a magnet to it and a magnet will not stick. So um, I guess it's uh, exactly what they say. And they have various kinds of this board. They have I got this with the polished ribs that you see here. They also have it, you can have this all black, satin black, gloss black, or you could even have the chrome all black as well. So you could have a whole, all, you know, a solid black board. Um, and for a little bit more than, I don't know, $100 or so, anywhere, I've seen them be anywhere between 100, 150, 160, something like that. You get two boards for the, you know, as usually if you went to say Wolfsburg West where I like to get my vintage running boards they're hundred bucks a piece uh, so uh, you know I think you're getting a great deal and it's great fitment it's a got it's got a great look to it. it's got a great shine to it um, you know I'll show you over here we're putting it on the 66 project here I want to show you here's how they look along the car very nice and I like the fitment even on the end here um, a lot of times they you know the the the, fat, the running boards they're either you know depending when you know what year fenders you have if you have the correct fenders or not you know sometimes there's a problem here with fitment and there's rubbing and there's scratching things like that same with the rear fender you know depending on what your setup is uh, the more original you are of course the fitment is going to be better uh, so I think these running boards are going to fit much better if you have you know, original uh, fenders and such, but um, the lines are great, the gaps are great here, you know, that's really nice. Um, you know, a lot of times they, you know, some running boards that are on the market today, they have the rubber mat that's on top, and the rubber mat is then, you know, up against and bulging, or it's rippling, it's bubbling, you know, on top of the board here, because it's pressed up against the, the fender, or it's flapping up, uh, rolling down, or curled, and you know, has kind of a messy look sometimes depending where you get your running boards from. So I've seen that problem with Mexican boards, Brazilian boards, things like that. But uh, these boards really look sharp. Uh, I think this is like the second time I bought these and I think it's actually going to work really well with this car. This car is a, you know, metallic gunmetal. It's got like a Porsche color to it. So it's not an original color um, for 66, but uh, I think this running board actually works really well. Here is the Wolfsburg West running boards. I love these boards. They have great fit and finish as well. And they give you, you know, the chrome already fastened. 
Um, the mats are really nice on these boards as well. The ribs are very, they got some nice depth to them. There's a lot of running boards that are on the market today with the ribs. It's just, it's like, it's like it's almost flat. They hardly are raised anymore. You know, this has a nice definition to it. The ribs really stand out. The chrome, of course, is stainless steel. They would have never had stainless steel back then. It was more of the aluminum look, uh, but now they make stainless steel chrome for this. You know, a lot of times over, you know, much driving, this chrome it has a tendency to come loose and sometimes rattles uh, because there's just a clip that fastens through a hole here and you gotta, and you gotta turn the clip just to kind of fasten it and over time as the car is running, you know, they start to get loose and this starts to rattle around a little bit. So yeah, you either gotta go out and buy new fasteners, um, which is not really a big deal. They're not expensive, but again, it's just another little hassle sometimes you gotta look out after. But uh, I love these running boards, but they are a hundred bucks a piece. Um, so that's the huge difference. I mean, I think with the billet aluminum running boards, you're practically getting um, same quality and strength. I mean, I actually think the strength of the billet is even stronger uh, than these uh, running boards that you see here. So let's go back. I usually put the vintage running boards from Wolfsburg West on a vintage car. Like this is a 57 oval window rag top. So a lot of times we want to be period correct and have the right look. Um, Wolfsburg seems to have the best running boards when it comes to that. Um, there are mats on the market that you can get that have the correct uh, ribbing detail. Uh, if you don't know, earlier bugs, the ribbing detail actually stopped just before the fender and went to the flat rubber. So the, the ribs kind of faded into a flat area here. Uh, CIP1.com sells those, but you'd have to take off this mat and then rewrap the running board. So it's almost like with less hassle, very similar look, um, a custom look, but yet still vintage. Uh, you got this billet aluminum running board. It's heavy duty. The fitment is great. Um, if you have to do heater channels or fastening panel repair on your Beetle, uh, just make sure your measurements are right because you want... You know, you're going to want the holes to line up here, okay, to, for these brackets. The other running boards, like the Wolfsburg board, will have a whole panel here that goes across, and they have their cutouts for this. And sometimes, you know, if you're changing a heater channel or changing a fastening panel, now your holes on your fastening panels are not lining up correctly with these. You have a little more of adjustment on the Wolfsburg boards. You can pretty much cut into those uh, those slots to make the hole bigger or whatever. This is a lot stronger, and you don't have more meat here on the afterwards on either side of the hole if you had to make other holes, uh, unless you want to get crafty and you want to start welding other brackets on. But you know, most of the time that doesn't happen. Uh, if your measurements are right when you're doing heater channels or fastening panel you're okay. Uh, but from the get-go, from the box, these measurements are correct and everything lines up perfectly. Uh, we've done it here on the 66 that's behind me. So, uh, very interesting stuff. I really like the quality, the fit, the finish of this board. Um, it's it definitely, you don't have that rippling problem with the rubber mat on top. Um, and it's just, it's all one one piece. Everything's, everything's together. This will not start rattling over time because this is all fused together with the board. Um, you know, most of the time running boards are just kind of a glance over. So people might not even notice that you have a custom running board here or a billet. Uh, of course, a, a VW person will probably pick it out, but if you go to a, a regular car show, they most likely will not be able to tell. But I think this is a very nice finish. So I definitely recommend getting these guys if, uh, if it's something that you want to add to your vehicle. It also is uh, saving you some money as opposed to going to an original board or original style board. And they're heavy duty and uh, great fit and finish. So if you guys have any comments, suggestions, leave them in the comments section below. Love to hear your thoughts. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Um.